Yeah. Okay. So the end of August. All right. Cool. All right. Thank you. Bye. I've been calling all the stores to see when they're putting the Halloween stuff out because I've decided to do a series of vlogs and visit each store and just do a comprehensive review of their Halloween uh, offerings and all the props and decorations. If you don't have a certain store like a Target in your area, you can, you can see what other people are selling in different areas. So I thought that would be pretty cool. We can get some ideas for the tutorials and everything. So most of the people don't know when the Halloween stuff is coming out. Anyway. Welcome to Monster Tutorials, or what's up? We are making skulls out of milk jugs. So what we're going to need, we're going to start with this and end up with this. So that's today's tutorial. We're making uh, milk jug skulls. So let's go. Let's get started with today's tutorial. We're going to make some uh, uh, milk jug skulls. So here are the materials. You're going to need a skull. So whatever kind. I have this little one too. They're different. So you gotta pick which one you want as long as it's not like foam. This would melt under the heat gun. So that's not a good one. The other thing you're going to need is a milk jug. Uh, and the reason we do milk jugs is because it's uh, HDPE, which is high density polyethylene. Uh, and it's just plastic. However, the size and shape accommodates uh, a skull. There are many things made out of this material that you can use too. But this is perfect for the size of a skull going in there. And you need a trusty heat gun. This is like the cheap one that I got in uh, from Amazon. It's a link below if you're interested in this one. It works perfectly fine. It has two settings, low and high. So you will also need a little bit of water and a clean sponge. The one thing that is going to make your life easier is if you have a stand to put the skull on top. I don't have one. I had to steal this paper towel holder from the kitchen downstairs. Hoping my wife doesn't find out until after we're done with this. But this also means I'm going to have to do a tutorial on how to make a, a stand for a skull that is really good if you're making some masks or, or shrinking some milk jugs. It's perfect. But for today, this is it. Okay, the first step is to get the skull in the milk jug. So we're going to use the cleanest side for the face. We're going to cut, cut the back and slide the skull in there like this. The skull is in there. Might take a little bit of coercing, but that's how we do it. I chose to do this particular skull. So that's what I have in here. It's this exact same one with the jaw, but I don't want the jaw to be loose. So I'm going to take the hot glue gun and glue. Yeah, I'll show you on this one. I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue right here on the teeth so that the jaw is stuck like that. I'll just take it out and show you. You can always remove this glue later when you get the skull back out. That is nice and solid. So the other thing I'm going to have to do with this one is make a hole in the back so we can slide it over. I tried to disassemble this, but it wouldn't come off like that thing right there. And I'm not going to mess with this since it belongs in the kitchen. So I cut a little extra slice there just to make it big enough to fit over this. And since I am using my wife's paper towel holder, I'm just going to put a drop of glue here real quick and see if I can get it off. Otherwise, we're going to have to abandon this plan. 
that comes up really easy so let's do this I'm just going to slide this over to make the hole bigger okay so now I'm gonna put a huge bead of this stuff right here nice and hot and then immediately put this There you go, check that out. I'm also gonna go ahead and put a little bit of hot glue here just to hold it nice and steady. I might end up buying my wife a new paper towel holder, but all right, so that is nice and solid. Now, milk jug. So here you go for comparison, that's the same milk jug. That's what I cut out with the extra slice down here. So they can fit over the skull. So it's going to go like this. So this nice clean part is where the face goes. There you go. So that's how it goes. We fit the whole thing. So now the fun part. Have your water ready and your sponge. That's a picture for my Instagram account. If you don't follow me, I'll put the user below. Go check it out. There's all kinds of behind the scenes pictures too. All right, sponge in the water. Let it sit there for a minute. And now we're just going to take the heat gun and heat one section at a time until the plastic melts. And when it melts, not melts all the way, it just gets soft and it'll turn a little bit more translucent. And at that point, we're just going to use the wet sponge, we'll wring it out real good, and push it against the shape of the skull. So it'll take the shape of the skull. Uh, it might slide around, so try to keep in one spot until you secure it. If we need to put a bead of uh, hot glue in there to hold it in place, we'll do that if we need it. It gets nice and soft like that. Get your sponge and then you push it in and hold it in and try to capture all the detail of that skull. We have an eye socket already. You see that eye socket? That is awesome. So we're going to do that all around. What the water will do, it will make sure that the sponge doesn't get stuck to the plastic and it cools the plastic down, which hardens it. You could leave it like that, that's a cool impression of a face, and then decorate the rest differently or cut just that piece. We're going to go ahead and do the whole skull. just going to continue doing that all the way around if I get to any hard pieces I will slow down the video and I'll explain what I'm doing other than that it's just the same heat up push against the skull heat up push against the skull if you leave that head all square you can make your own Frankenstein monster oh, if I did things correctly this will be not stuck to the plastic skull underneath. If it is, I'll have to do it again. Let's try to unmold this. I could go all the way in the back, but I'm going to use this as a mold and not as a, as a prop itself. Although on a skull, all you need is the face pretty much. So I'm not going to do this part all the way. I'm going to try and unmold that. One more for Instagram. All right, here we go. 
what is the easiest way. I'm going to try to get the skull off. Because the most important thing today is that this towel holder remains unharmed. God, this thing is hot. Well, the heat of the heat gun make the glue get all over these things. I'm going to be picking some glue off of this later. I'm going to have to cut a slit all the way to the crown of the head. It's moving. turned out better than I thought. That's pretty cool. As you know, we're going to use this on the next tutorial to make some uh, concrete skulls. But after we're done with that, I'm going to use this for a prop. It's a cheap way to make a skull. Crap. This is not good. Alright, let me show you one of my uh, one of the hands I practiced on. I haven't done the hand tutorial yet, but I was practicing last night. On this hand, that looks kind of dead now. I'm not sure if you can see it on that screen. Uh, all I did is I had some dirty gloves from using stain on this hand, just rubbed it all over. It looks like a dead person's hand. But check this out. That's just practice, so it's a little unrealistic, but I made some muscles and some blood, some corpsing. It even has uh, some muscles here. You can squish it. But anyway, that's practicing to make that famous uh, like button hand. So for now, let's use this one. It doesn't bend very well. But anyway, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Next time, we're going to be making uh, the concrete skulls using this mold and uh, some other molds and other concrete things. And then also we're going to have that tutorial to make a creepy corpse hand, but way better than this. This is just practice. So I'll see you later. Forget thumbs up. Thumbs up if you like it now. It's still wet with blood. See ya.